news is the Ford Mustang Shelby GT500, the Heritage Edition from MiniGT, and boy oh boy, she is absolutely beautiful, guys. And today we are gonna take a look at why this particular casting is a 100% worth having in your collection. You heard that right, I I know I always say this, but for this particular casting guys, now Minigit has knocked it out of the park. Now, before we get into the car, we, you know what, forget about it, let's get straight into the car because I'm super excited. So, a wacky transition, boom, check it out. The Ford Shelby Master, the Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 in Heritage Edition, now guys, the reason why I say this is amazing is because back in 2021 or 2022, I think, when Ford released the news of this Heritage Edition. Now, I saw the paint job and I had this intuition where I said, you know, when brands eventually or evidently do this Heritage Edition, it's going to be hard to mimic the paint job. But I got to say, Mini GT did a very, very good job with this. Because the moment I removed it from the plastic or from the box, it just caught my eye and boy, oh boy, she is absolutely gorgeous just check her under the flashlight right here she is glistening under the light major did an amazing job in replicating this particular heritage edition ford mustang right and for those mustang lovers you guys know the gd500 is a brilliant and a beautiful car now i just you know gotta be a bit more light for you guys now just to kind of you know reiterate on the paint option of paint Information that I was just saying, this is brilliant. Check out, this, oh, it's just amazing. I'm at a truly lost for words when I, you know, when I saw this casting. Now, just for you gearheads, this actually has a supercharged and intercooled 32 valve V8, right? With port fuel injection and obviously the aluminum block and heads. Now, it produces a whopping 760 horsepower at 7,300 RPM. It, the torque is about 625 pound feet of torque at about 5,000 RPM as well. No, unfortunately, this does not come in a manual. It has a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox, right? Which, once again, I know you guys, there are manual fanboys out there. You guys might not be a fan. But for me, honestly, I think it makes sense for this kind of car, right? Because for me, a Mustang's always, always you know, sort of like a touring car, per se, right? So it kind of makes sense. You know, it's chill, it's comfort. You know, there's comfortability, the aspect of comfort as well. And the interior in this is very, very comfortable, guys. Or at least, you know, the reviews are what it says. Now, for this Benigiti casting, guys, at the wheels, this has been amazingly well. Just check them out. The, these 10 spoke rims are just ever so brilliant. You guys know Benigiti, they do a very good job when it comes to wheels. The paint scheme, once again, brilliant. The Cobra decal, obviously, right there in the front. Obviously, there's a Cobra decal in the front grille as well. Now, my most favorite things are the stripes, the white stripe that go from the front bumper right there, out to the hood, to the roof, and to the back as well. And we'll get back to the back in a bit. The left, exactly the same. The wheels, once again, they do spin amazingly well. Oh, before we can, before we forget, the front, obviously, we've got plastic headlight samples right there. A very nice front splitter right there. I, I, I don't know if you guys can see. Let me try to show you. I mean, essentially, it's this, right? But from the top or from the side, you guys have seen a front splitter right there. A very, very nice add to this car. Now, in the rear, here's where it's very, very nice as well. We have the iconic the three stripe real light, which are also plastic in this. Got the Ford license plate right there and quad exhaust system. Now, my most favorite thing has to be the spoiler because this spoiler right here is carbon fiber. It has a carbon fiber finish to it. I really hope the camera can do some justice, but the carbon fiber just you know, it kind of bodes, it bodes very well with the paint job and the stripe that it goes on. Obviously, it goes to the back end as well. So, you know, and also at a certain angle, you can, you can see the little reflection of the stripe on the carbon fiber spoiler as well. Which is just, you know, it just looks very nice overall and I love this particular car. Now, I want to give a massive props to Ars Vending for sending this particular car over. Now, if you want to get more of such, or if you want to get this right now, it is available at the vending machines. So, so be, be sure to check the vending machines out. They, have, they are in three locations, mainly in Amokil Hub, in Suntec City and PLQ Mall, for those in Singapore. So be sure to get this for, from Ars Vending today. Once again, massive props to Ars Vending for sending this over. Now, before we end, I, just, I really want to know, let me know in the comments below, guys, would you get this particular car? Would you, or, or, or not why? You know, if you guys 
think oh this isn't worth the money let me know why as well but honestly for me i think it's a valuable brilliant ad we've had previous mustangs in the channel before you guys love this casting so i remember you guys had a lot of questions to ask and you guys showed positive reinforcements about this car right and so i think you guys are gonna love this particular gd500 as well but once again let me know in the comments if you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more of such content be sure to subscribe to the channel because every week we do get new castings from our spending no once again i really appreciate your your cons your comments your love your support but just so that i guess this video is over i'll see you in the next one and i'm out peace